All right, let's play. <laughs> let's play. How do we start this game? All right, we gotta do. We gotta go to the flyweight division right now. All right, fly- obviously, Mighty Mace, My- Mighty Mouse, Mighty Mace, the- Mighty Mace. I've had that in my eyes. <laughs> Mighty Mouse is the champion. Who do you think is gonna be the champion? What are weight are they fighting in when he fights TJ? They're not going to fight at flyweight, no. are they? Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. If that happens. I mean, we don't know. I thought but. there was going to be another weight in there. Um, no. I'm going to go against the grain. Let's see that this time. They, is it this time next year? Yeah, what are we doing? Yeah. yeah. Mighty Mouse is going to be the champion. Even if something happened and he say, let's say he loses to TJ. TJ, he can come back and, and win it. He's That guy's going to be around. You know what? I'm going to side with Matt Serra. I agree. It's going to be Demetrius. You know what? Yes. Let me think. Wait a minute. All right. Wait a minute. Come on, man. Wait a minute. Yeah, true swords. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at slut trouble. Yeah. What's Plus, you had your hand in your zipper. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait. Uh, I'm thinking Henry. Um, I know. I, I thought But that a too, year but... from now. See, a year is hard because. Well, it's two or three fights, right? If you like. Yes. Realistically. You're right. You know? right. Correct. So. Yeah. Demetrius can see. You gotta understand, Demetrius has not taken really any punishment in his whole career. I don't remember him in a, a war where he's taking punishment. If anything, a guy's squirmy and getting through. You know what I mean? Right. When has he ever beaten up? Never. No. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? God Maybe damn. Dotson hit him a couple times. Yeah, Dotson was probably I mean Ian McCall. They, Demetrius they the, Johnson. But yeah, Dotson was probably the hardest. Uh, Demetrius Johnson. Yeah, I have I have Mighty Mouse too. I just don't see any reason why he would lose. All right. um, I now I'm having fun with this game because yeah, I'm yeah. looking at the band and weights and I'm saying, all right, now I'm looking at Cody and yep. there's Dominic and you know then there's my guys. See now, wait, see this now. I'm a little now I'm a little torn. Now who's TJ fighting next, Dominic? Because I'm looking. There's nothing t- nothing. Is Dominic Carter is okay. Dominic is back to training. Based on an Instagram video I saw, he he got the cast off or whatever, but he broke his arm, so he's getting back. Where to does training. Cody and Dominic fight for the right to do TJ while TJ fights DJ? I think TJ fights Demetrius Johnson at a lower weight, and then I think uh, uh, Cody and Dominic Cruz belted out to see who gets to fight for the title next. That's what I think happens there. So that's the next fight for them. That happens around uh, January, March or April. Yeah. Uh, well, then- don't forget we got Rivera Lineker. That's uh, on the 30th. So those guys are in the mix. I I know, do, I now, Marlon Marais. Now I'm mix. looking at this thing again, and I'm thinking I don't like this game again. Because I'm thinking, because I see far. my... No, there's a thing. Not you only you that, see but I see my, my guys in there, and I want to make them... Well, you can pick win. one of them. Yeah, but now then it's just me being totally biased, and I don't know if it's. But there. you're also not being. Here's why you're not being biased, because a lot of those guys, like if Aljo is in number, he just coming off a tough loss, number nine. Right. Just three fights in, do you get the? T- Some of them just won't get the title well, fight by that I, point. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't. That's just be, math. Right. Yeah, but you're not. You're not jinxing him. You're not saying that he's gonna fight and lose. You're saying, all right, the next fights logically. Uh, just because the way they're going to work, you know. Yeah, it is only a few. The winner of Rivera Lineker, either one of those guys, a little higher up than Aljo is on on the right. America, uh, and, and you know, and, and Marlon Marais just won the fight, so right. Well, yeah, Aljo would have to get back on the horse. He'd have I, to I don't win like, a fight and yes. then get at least a couple of wins before that. Right. Absolutely. If before the end right. of the year Aljo got a title shot, you're not going to pick against Aljo, of course. But yeah. it's you know, right now it seems like he'd need a couple of wins before he got there. So okay, all right, let's yeah. go back to playing again. Yeah, I, sure. I, I I I go in and out with this I game, but I'm back in now. I don't know how I feel about it. Wow, Josh Emmett number five yeah isn't that amazing he jumped uh, right up all uh, right so let's say uh, i i don't know i don't like it's a year from now all right whatever uh wait, oh, well that's in featherweight you yeah wait, no, no, i know looking at now? i'm looking at bantamweight uh I, ch- I just jumped ahead for a second uh i say let me think because you have to go through the fight okay it's gonna be uh demetrius against tj and then uh it's gonna be cody against when you're saying that let's just cl- clarify like nothing official but we're just suggesting yeah, 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 that, these know that. I'm just i know guessing. i'm just saying they just, they were just guessing. <laughs> we're playing a game. Who's gonna be in a year now? Oh, he's a nervous nilly. He's a nervous he nilly. Who's a nervous nilly? I'm not supposed to say it, but that's already been announced. No, we're okay. just guessing. Uh, let's see. What about? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you also are gonna have fucking Jimmy Rivera is a hard hitter, man. Yeah. Ah, so is Lineker. I mean, that's a great fight. Lineker uh, Rivera. Is a, a year great from fight. now. Mm. This is good. You know what the problem with this game is? I think it's going to be John Lineker. No, no, Jimmy Rivera. I'm sorry, Jimmy Rivera. All right. I'm saying Jimmy Rivera will be champion. Now, now I'm looking at middleweight. Then again, I, TJ, I, who the fuck be? I'm looking at middleweight with Weidman in there. I can't play this game. Why can't you play the game? Because I'm going to be just picking all my guys. I took Weidman. Pick, I have Weidman. Pick your guys. Yeah, that's a good. Weidman You're not picking bums. Weidman's a fucking one of the best yeah. fighters in the middleweight division. Yeah, that's okay. You're not picking fucking Aljo to be the light heavyweight champion. Then you're a little biased. <laughs> right. You know, I'm picking fucking uh, Nganu for bantamweight. Yeah. Well, God to that. He's going to move down, yeah. Okay, so we have that. I picked uh, Jimmy Rivera. All right. 
Uh, featherweight, it's going to well, be. Well, Matt, who do you have in the bantamweight division? I'm going to. Uh, mm. This is interesting. I might, in a year from now, now I'm trying to think. These guys got to fight. Those guys got to fight. You know who might come out of left field and come back like a fucking bandit? Don't I know like what it? you're going to say. You know who I'm going to say. Yep. Cruise control. Yeah. yeah Dominic but, Cruz. Yeah, but a year from now, that's a couple of fights. I don't, Dominic, with the injuries he's had and the fact that he's older, I just think works against him. Because like, Cruz is just, you know. Right. But I do, do, can he win a fight and then two more in the year? I don't know. Right. That's I, a lot of strain on his body. He doesn't, Absolutely. Need, he doesn't uh, need to win three fights. To be champion by the time next year, he'll have to fight a couple times. Well, I mean, is he in law? Where is he now? Is I, he's I say him back from injury. So my oh, guess yeah. is that him and Cody will fight around. Uh, again, this is a guess, obviously, to, to, to our attorney, Chris. <laughs> uh, March or April, they fight. Then again, maybe uh, May, June, July. Uh, maybe at the end of July, there's a fucking belt that he has to fight against September, October. So we have to fight. We have to win it and then fight at least once and defend it. Tough thing for his body again with the injuries he's had. Yeah. So I'm gonna not gonna say Dominic Cruz. It's hard to pick. I mean, I picked Jimmy Rivera, but it's hard to pick against TJ. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I took TJ, and for that logic, like I, I mean, Cruz is maybe the best bantamweight of all time. But right, can he stay healthy? That's the TJ question. will fight the winner of Cruz Cody, but then again, Cody could knock. Yeah. Well, look, guys, listen. That's a very tough question. Cody. Yeah, I took Jimmy. Cody, Do Dominic, and TJ, they all fight 10 times. It could be a fucking pick them each to who knows each right. time. That's how close these guys are. That's in yeah. my opinion. In my humble. In my humble, Jimmy. Yeah, I agree. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go outside the box. I don't know if it's that far outside the box. The guy's number two. I'm going to say Dominic Cruz will be back. Okay. There you go. This time next year. And we'll look back at this and go, that motherfucking oh, short-looking, powerful with the calves, and he's not Notre Dame. The calves have nothing to do with my prediction. No, no, no. It's with the fact that Notre Dame didn't exist. <laughs> it was Notre Dame. Notre Dame uh, what did I call him? Notre Dame. Wait, what is his name? Nostradamus. No, what is it? Nostradamus. Nostra? Yeah, you call him Notre, like Notre no. Dame. The hunchback uh, of Notre Dame. <laughs> I can never use it because I don't think I want it. Nostra. It's all right. Nostra. You'll get there it. You Nostradamus. Well, he calls it Nostra. You're Italian. Come on. Let's all go right. again, Jimmy. Let's go with uh, Featherweight Division next year, this time next year. I'm going to go crazy. Brian Ortega. That's who I have. Yeah. I agree. I think that jujitsu is just... Yeah. Really, impressive. him and Frankie would be a fun fight. Man. So hard to deal with. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I would love to watch him and Frankie Edgar fight. Matt, comment. I'm a little biased, but I'm I'm going to say Frankie's going to be back. I think it's going to work out to be Frankie. Okay. I think Frankie. I wouldn't be sad Frankie. about that. I yeah, love love to see that. One of my favorite Frankie guys alive. Fought. And I don't get. And listen, I I really like that Brian Ortega kid. I do. I like him. You know how much I love jujitsu. Sure. And I met him. And he, and when you meet him, he's got a very good energy, Jimmy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm about energy, Jimmy. Yes, you are. You saw that Black Belt video last night. I mean, Wonderful. Did you, did you sense, know what I like about that? You sense the energy? I do. It's not like it's Spielberg directing that thing. Somebody no. just taking a, a video of it. Not at all. But you sense the energy, the good energy. Yeah. Positive. Uh, positive? Po I loved it. Positive energy is what yeah. I was looking for, You're Jimmy. upbeat. Thank you, Jimmy. We should really move through these divisions quicker. Yeah, we're doing good. This is nice. All right, featherweight, what do you think? Uh, I mean, sorry, lightweight, what do you think? Did I say it? Wait, did I say anything? Oh, you I said, said Frankie, Frankie. and Featherweight. <clears throat> Now, are you writing these things down? Yeah, yeah, I got Connor, it. of course, Dude, but... This is looking at me. No, we'll go back through I, it when we're done and we'll write that. I say it's going to be... This is a division of killers. It's just awful. Yeah. I mean, literally, there's not one weak link in the whole fucking... How about... Um, who's fighting? Khabib. Ah, I think God. this guy's going to get his shit together, and I'm saying it's going to be Khabib. Hmm. You know the problem with Khabib? Um, what? From the weight. Uh, I think I could stay from, away from that tier, Masu. You think Khabib's gonna be champion, huh? I think I think it's about if he makes it to the damn cage, it will be. All right. I mean, look at that. Dude. I say I, Ferguson, Tony Ferguson in the year. I, I have Tony Ferguson also. I went between Khabib and Tony Ferguson. But I, I was on the fence, but you know what made me uh, fall on the other side, one side of the fence? It was starting to hurt. Oh, <laughs> the jiu -jitsu. I, I wasn't sitting like on a fence. Oh, okay, that, just the post. <laughs> Not no, Jimmy. <laughs> I said I was sitting on a fence once and it was a finger. The, the, <laughs> the Kimura is what yeah. brought me to one side. Let, so let me ask you this. If I, Connor, I mean, obviously we're all kind of assuming, we, we, nobody knows what Connor's <laughs> doing. If Connor, if it was like definitely Connor's going to fight two or three times in a year, yeah. do, ha, does that factor in? Does nope. that change your opinion on that? I think Khabib beats him. Yeah. Um, well, Khabib's a terrible matchup for Connor. Terrible. Yeah. And Connor knows that. 
And I mean, Ferguson. Frankie's not a great matchup for him. <clears throat> no. no. Listen, he's a smart business guy, is what I'm saying. And he's a fighter, but now he's at that thing where we talked about it last time with Connor. Like, what's going to. Motiv- what's going to motivate him? It has to be the fight itself, because if he's doing it for just dollars, you know, it's it's that's not enough. Right. So I say it's going to be Ferguson. You say Ferguson. We say. Oh, you say I Khabib. Say, I say Khabib. When we now, say it again, I'm well, sorry, Jimmy. Welterweight. Oh, welterweight. I pick. Uh, welterweight. I say it's going to be. Um, Wonder Boy. I think Wonder Boy oh. is going to fight for the title again, and he's going to win it. Oh. It might not be for a couple of fights, and he'll defend once, maybe against puns and abuse. Right, that's the thing. I mean, it could be the last card of the year. It could be that type of thing. I do think Wonder Boy will be the champion. You know what? I'm biased, but I'm going to say Wonder Boy also. He is a friend of mine, though. I love him. He's a buddy of mine, too. As much as I can be buddies with a guy I've only interviewed, but I like him. Um, I'm going to, based on what happened this weekend, RDA had a great fight against Robbie. That's a war. Tyron Woodley knocked out Robbie Lawler with one punch. Yep. I'm taking Tyron Woodley is going to keep the belt this year. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, let's see. Middleweight. Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, Weidman is not a Chris crazy pick. Chris Weidman! <laughs> yeah, I would take Weidman too. I okay. don't think that's a crazy pick. I think Whitaker is a tough matchup for anybody in that division. But I think if Weidman fights Yola again, he does not make that mistake. Right. Um, I do think that Weidman uh, would not, uh, again, make the same mistake against uh, Luke Rockhold. Uh, GSP is out of it. And uh, and Jacare, I think that Weidman could. Uh, I mean, he, that's a tough matchup for anybody too. But. Definitely, but yeah, I mean, I, I I'm taking Weidman. Although Gastelum looks pretty fucking vicious, just yeah. based on size, I think that's going to be the biggest Agreed. issue for Gastelum once he starts to get into the the you know. But like you pointed out, I mean, Bisping's a big guy too. But all right, let's see, who do you got? All right, so now we're on to light heavyweight. Light heavyweight. Mm. Light heavyweight. I know Why that. do I like to sing a lot? I don't. I you're like fucking I have, good, and you know it. I don't have a good voice, Jimmy. You should do. I don't. Who do you say light heavyweight? I enjoyed the whole voice. Cormier against uh, Ozdemir. <laughs> yeah, that's Ooh, next. That's January twenty. Here's what I think. I say Gustafson mm. will finally win that belt. Sure. He's been so. He was close. a very touch. He was a very touch, but tough matchup for Cormier the first time. Yeah, and John Jones. And John Jones. So I think oh, he wins the belt. you're saying Gustafson. Gustafson. I mean, he looked unbelievable against Glover in his last fight. Landed that uppercut, however many times. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say DC will still be. The okay, energy. I almost went with that. I'm gonna say that because look. Listen, Rumble's a problem for anybody, but besides John Jones, DC's been. And I, know he, I know he had that battle with Gustafson, but he did win that fight. So yeah, yeah, I have DC also. I'm, I'm staying with DC. Okay, and the X factor is John Jones. We don't know what's going on with him. Absolutely. But, you know. All right, heavyweight. Um, well, I know where you're going with this. Probably. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking I, again. I don't know if he beats uh, uh, Stipe. Right, uh, I love Stipe. Uh, um, I'm biased. I can't root against Stipe. I'm biased. I, I am can't. biased. I like him too much. I'm going to say his name right. At least I say it. when I'm biased, but it doesn't mean that I wouldn't pick him even if I wasn't biased. I think that Stipe is going to be around, man, and I think he's. Uh, it's hard to hold on to the heavyweight belt for that long, man. Well, how long has he been holding on to it? No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. How many times he defended it? He's defended it twice. If he wins, if he beats Nganu, that's the record for title defenses in the heavyweight division. It's right. never Seriously? been defended more than twice. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Uh, that dude, yeah. that's a fucking... Well, I, I believe he's going to do it. And I, uh, I think he gets better with each fight. And uh, I think the guy's going to do really well. I do. I can't wait for that. That's going to be like a monster movie. Who do I it's going to be like Pacific Rim. <laughs> I say Ngannou will be champion in a year. Yeah. Because Ngannou has taken the least amount of punishment of any of these guys. And he's put in the least. You know, I, I, So again, that could work against his gas tank. But Ngannou really has not. Uh, his body has not been punished in the UFC at all. No. So I think he's probably the healthiest and in the best shape unless he gets hurt training. I'm taking... If he's back healthy, I'm going with Kane Velasquez. Is gonna get you know, I almost there. took Kane. I yeah. almost did. I'm, 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 as we're talking, I'm thinking of Kane shooting and uh, and somehow taking Ngannou down. I'm just putting him. Right. But the thing is this. The reach is a tremendous difference for Francis. And Junior knocked him out with a shot to the top of the head. Yeah. Um, Fabricio beat him. I, I think Ngannou can touch him. Sure. Well, that's the question with Ngannou, right? If he can hit your chin, he's probably going to be able to put you out. So, so what do you think of uh, women's strawweight? Oh, who did you pick, Matt? I oh, Stipe. I said Stipe. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be upset if it was Stipe, though. He's one of my favorite yeah. people in yeah. the UFC. 
Uh, what do you think of uh, women's strawweight? Man, you know what? It's hard to <sighs> see. I'm I'm on. See, I, I like Rose a lot, and she's been look. She's been looking so just great, dynamic. You know, but I want. I really want to see how Joanna's is going to come back. What, is that anything? Any news on that? I say Jessica Andrade will be champion. <laughs> Jessica Andrade looked unbelievable against Claudia oh. Gadelia. Yeah. But I, there's no word on the the fight happening, but Joanna had said that she had a, a tough weight cut going into that fight, and she has is not working with the team that she was working with, uh, you know, going into that fight. So I feel bad for those girls. I know that team. Yeah, I know the team that they're talking about. Ah, man, listen, who, but who knows? But who knows, right. There's always a couple sides to that. Um, um, I'm I'm picking Rose. I think Rose is just... I would love to see that. Keeps getting better every time she sure. gets in there. And now mentally... She's amazing. You know, she has that advantage. You never know how someone is going to do when they are now the target and not the one climbing the mountain. Right. You know, where yeah. Joanna was so fucking fierce. Uh, let's see now. All right, the flyweight... Wait, uh, Jim, so you took Jessica Andrade, I'm taking right? Andrade. And Matt, who are you going with? And we're talking about a year from now. Yeah. Well, you got to figure Joanna and Rose are going to have a rematch. How at some old point, is Joanna right? and how old is Rose? Not that uh, it shouldn't make that much of a And this flyweight much. division is I think new. They're both pretty young. Yeah, that's women's flyweight. I mean, I think women's strawweight is one of the deepest divisions in the sport. Well, but yeah, the flyweight division's new. I mean, you know, middleweight division is pretty fucking good. Yeah, no question. So we got featherweights are killers. Um, Joanna is 30, and Rose, I want to say, is like 25. Yeah, she's yeah, 25. Rose is young. 25. All right, so women's flyweight. That's a tough one. I'm not familiar he with a lot of them. my pick, Jimmy. Oh, I thought you picked already, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't say anything. Uh, I'm going to pick Rose. Okay. I think she's so young, and she's really mature beyond her years. Say seems. mature. Mature. Uh, mature. <laughs> fuck you, Jimmy. I'm sorry, Jim. I'll never say fuck you again. You can say fuck you. Fuck you, man. I'm not offended. I'm sorry. But why Why can't I say mature? You can't. I'm just kidding. Mature? I hate mature. Oh, what do you oh, so I'm Mature, saying, yes. I am saying it right. <laughs> yes. I hate you know what, what does my wife say that? Uh, that um... Move out. It's <laughs> 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 some words that, uh, whatever. That's funny, Jimmy. All right, go ahead. So I, pull, I pick Rose. I think she's only getting better. Flyweight, I really, it's going to be a very, I, I, let's just go. Oh God! I'm Why go with, I I'll can... go with Liz Cornish in the in the uh, right. flyer. It's a new division. Wait, who? Uh, Liz Carmouche in women's flyway. I'm actually going to go. She just lost over the weekend. I still like her. Yeah, I like it too. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not jumping off the bandwagon. Yeah, I'm yeah. going off the board on this one. I'm going with Valentina Shevchenko. Is going to end up being the champion. Oh, you think she might move year. down? Well, she is moving down. Yeah, she oh. has a fight against. Uh, I believe Cachoeira is the... You know what? I will, I will amend my thing. I was not thinking of people changing weights. Right. I will go with Valentin as well. Yeah, Paige Van Zant's going into that division. So there's a lot... You know, I think there's going to be a lot of movement over the next year. Yeah, I, I'm going to say Valentina too. Okay. Three. I don't know if it's that many. Yeah, <laughs> good one. You? Um, I like her. Okay, now Amanda Nunes is champion right now. Tough fight against Valentina. She had... Um, yeah. And Holly's jumping out of that division, so yeah. I mean, Holly could potentially be at, at bantamweight also, but but she's at featherweight. For Ronda me. Rousey, I say. Uh, no, let's see. Where are we? What are we looking at? He's number nine, Ronda. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it is. What are we looking at? Women, bantamweight. Women's bantamweight. Okay. You oh, know, I'm just feeling I gotta go with. Uh, will Holly stay in that division though, or is she just doing this fight? Well, if she uh, wins the title, she'll uh, say. If she wins. But I'm going to say, you know, Holly, there's only Cyborg in that division. There's only two people. For now, yeah. I mean, that, that division will fill out. Well, I, I think she's going to win versus Cyborg. So that's why I'm going to... You do, right? I'm going to say Cyborg. I think that... Uh, that's why I'll keep her for the, for the featherweight. Uh, I'll keep Holly. That's why I'm, I'm going to take her out of this conversation for the bantamweight. I'm going to say so Amanda myself. Nunes keeps it. Amanda's a beast, and uh, I, I'm going to say Amanda keeps it. I'm going outside of the box on this one, but go ahead. What do you say? Yeah, I, I had Amanda holding on to the title there. Um, you know, Raquel Pennington is next, I would think. You but ready? Matt's going to pick Sarah McMahon. You ready? Yeah, it's Kim Zingano. I oh, can't yeah. do a good drum roll. It's out of beat. I'll do a good drum roll. That's good. Uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. You were going to say Kat Zingano. I was going to say Kat Zingano. I was going to say you know, how did you know? Because yes, everybody agrees with me. The studio audience, <laughs> everybody catching out of left field. 
she'll come and she'll have that rematch with Amanda Nunes. Yeah, they fought before. Ages ago. Yep. Not ages ago. It was a while. Yeah. And uh, I just snorted when I talked just so now. Mine's Drago cute. was snorting at me. When he got to top me with a... We were past my guard. And I guess he couldn't breathe. He was like... <laughs> I go, what the fuck? Are you a Gamorrean guard? That's from Star Wars. Only nerds right now going, oh, he said that from the Jedi, the pig He's monsters. strong, isn't he? He's strong. Sometimes I don't know where he goes, though, when we're rolling. Why? I go somewhere. I... I think he's playing possum. I think I tell him, I go, dude, what are you? Is this like that scene from Gladiator when he's thinking about it, like he's in the fucking going through the, the grassy fucking fields and he's he's touching the grass and then he comes back? I don't know where he goes in his mind. In other words, sometimes he's like plays possum, and I'm like, he's drunk. And then all of a sudden he wake up, it'll be on my leg. I'm like, ah, it's fuck. I don't know. Maybe it's just it might be from the fighting or maybe it's from the drinking. That's how he does it. <laughs> maybe he's setting me up. He's calling. The, he's doing the old playing possum technique. Where I go, oh. Oh, wait, Drago, are you, are, you, are you going easy now? And also, they'll just wake up and fucking attack me. Anyway. I'm going to go for, for featherweight. <laughs> yeah. A crazy one. Connor. Ah. Oh. Women's featherweight. It's going to be Cyborg. Yeah, I have Cyborg, too. She's oh, going to beat Holly. Yeah, Holly, Holly is a, a great fighter, but if Cyborg gets her on the ground, she's in trouble because uh, she had trouble with Misha on the ground. Um, and, and I do think that it's going to be Cyborg. Is that what you think? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Might not that might be not wrong. That might no. Not it's gonna. It, it might be right. Not, did I just say? Yeah, you might get a bunch of negatives. How is that? <laughs> how is that English? It's all right. That might not be wrong. I don't know what I said, but this is what I meant. Bring me back. Oh, I feel that Holly's gonna beat her. I know you do. And then she's gonna be very upset. Okay. Okay. Um, I I just have faith in Holly. I and and that team. Uh, and I I believe she's gonna be on her bike, and she's gonna be. Moving around, and next thing you know, leg kicks are going to be coming, and and oh, and then 